women oftentimes are wondering if when they're coming to you with a problem, if you actually understand them, you know? And what a lot of times the guys will do is a woman will tell them a situation that they're going through and the guy will be trying to give solutions or tell them about what they can do to make things better, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so there's this question often of like the woman saying, but like, do you actually understand what I'm feeling and what I'm saying? Now, as a guy, we oftentimes don't get that because we're thinking, well, I wouldn't be giving you a solution or situation to uh, how to fix this thing if I didn't on some level either understand the thing or if I didn't understand how you were feeling, right? So there's a mix up a communication of language that happens. And so how is it that you as a guy can actually show a woman that you understand the feeling she's going through versus always giving a solution? Because that's the thing for women is important is that they want to feel as though the guy that they're talking to gets what they're going through because that's how they connect. They connect through, I have a feeling, I want you to have the same feeling. And as guys, we don't always get that. We think, well, but I don't have to have that feeling that you're having right now in order to feel that thing, right? So a guy's going through a situation with his girlfriend, she brings up a situation she's going through and she's asking the guy, do you understand this? And he's trying to like, again, give a solution, but what could he have done instead to make her feel as though he understands? Let's go through his, his uh, comments. So he said, yesterday, my girlfriend and I were out for a bike ride and suddenly she started telling me that she felt down because in her opinion, she couldn't complete the thing she had in mind. And she always thinks about this. I rep So that's, that's what she said to him. So then he replied, he says, I replied, that she is a hard worker and that she already does a lot and that her work takes away so much mental energy that she has nothing left to dedicate to the other things in life. So before I get to continue to see what she said, let me ask you a question. Just listen to what his, his response was, right? Does it sound like he's actually um, giving life to her emotions? Does it sound like he's actually validating what she's feeling or does it sound like he's deflecting? Let's read that again. He said, so she said, I'm feeling down. I can't complete things. I always think about this. And his response is to say, but you're a hard worker and you do a lot. And so you do, you get so much energy. Like it, it should, you shouldn't care about that. Now, why did he respond like that? Because in guy world, this kind of response works great. Like if I have a guy friend that's going through a thing, he's like, man, just, I think I'm, I'm sucking at life right now. I'm, I'm not doing good at my job. And this is that as a guy, we want him to focus on the things he's actually doing right. So he'll be able to see, oh, you know what? I actually do have a lot of good things going on. Let me just completely ignore the negative stuff that I'm thinking of. And that, that works great in guy world. I can say to my friend, but dude, man, like you just, you know, you just uh, completed this thing at your job. That was a really hard project. And you've been, you know, work are not losing weight and you've been doing all this other stuff. And so dude, you're doing great. Like compared to where other people your age are, you're doing amazing because that works on guys because you're basically being able to logic a guy out of feeling bad about himself. And he'll be able to see that and be like, oh yeah, logically, I am doing these other things. So you know what? I feel totally fine. That doesn't work on an emotional being who wants their emotions to be validated first before they can feel good about themselves. Because for women, they just don't want to feel like the weirdo. They don't want to feel like the things that they're feeling are completely foreign to any other person in life because then that makes her estranged, you know? And women who are uh, beings of community don't like feeling ostracized. And so they don't want to be felt feeling as though the thing that they're feeling is going to leave them out in the cold by themselves because nobody gets them. That is a very dangerous feeling for a woman to have. So you as her guy, She's gonna to come to you saying things in the hopes that you're gonna understand that there's a feeling tone behind it and that you're gonna be able to empathize with that feeling so she doesn't feel like a weirdo. Most guys don't get that. So he said the thing about, but you're a hard worker, X, Y, and Z. Her response was, he, he says, then she, kept, she just kept asking me, but do you understand me? Do you understand how I feel? He says, I repeated to her, are you looking for a solution? or just comfort. Now, admittedly on here, I've said, if women are talking to you, you can say, hey, so like, do you want a solution or do you want me just, to just listen? That, totally fine. But you saying, do you want a solution or do you want comfort? It, it's worded weirdly and women are all about how words sound and feel and that sounds like a little more like, ugh. I mean, geez, do you want me to comfort you or do you want me to like actually help you out? But we, anyway, so then he says, and she told me 
that I'm great when it comes to setting goals, like going to the gym, having a strict healthy diet, or other things, and I can stick to them in the long term, but she fails. So I told her that if she wants to be more energetic and not feel down, she should use the phone better by reducing the use of social media, which she's addicted to, and try to use that time for her own things. Start by this little change and see how it goes, and then eventually she can see the things getting done. So then he asked, what would, what would you have said or done instead? This is a simple conversation, but if I got something wrong, what would you have changed? So again, here's the thing, is that it's not, people, men believe that women don't want the solution to their problems. And that is emphatically not true for most women. Most of some women are out there, they just wanna complain all the time. I don't deal with those women. But most women, it's not that they don't want a solution. It's that the pathway to them, being able to fix things starts with them feeling that the feelings that they have are normal. Once they feel as though they're understood and that their feelings are being validated, then they themselves, a lot of times, will end up with a solution. Or at the very least, they are gonna be now open to hearing what you have to say to fix their problem. So, if you guys are all about, I just wanna fix it and blah, 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 blah. If you fix the first problem she has, which is being able to emotionally connect and feel the thing that she's feeling, then you'll find the second problem of her being open to you and your solutions will be wide open. So how do you do that? So here is a little secret trick for you guys. And this is why you guys should be joining the Introvert Dating Success Academy because I talk about this kind of stuff all the time, right? Here's the thing. If you think back in your history, there is gonna be a point where the thing that she's going through and the feeling she's having you also had at some point in time. It may not be today, because you may be a guy today that's got things more figured out, you're more logical now, you're more confident in yourself, and so maybe you're not feeling that thing now. But if you think back in your history, there's a point in time when you did in fact feel this feeling, which means that she is in fact not feeling something that is so foreign to you. So let me give you an example, right? So I'll use his, right? So he says, that she said she feels down because she can't complete the things that she had in her mind, right? So she feels down about that. She's frustrated that she can't just be a go a go getter or a person just is able to like rev themselves up, right? Now you might be a person that's able to do that now, but there's a point in your history where you weren't that person. I know me. Hey, I done started a podcast. I done started TikTok channels, and I done written books and stuff like that. Like I'm very much a go getter. But there was a point in time where I was very much that person sitting there like, oh, I wanna get stuff done, but I just, I just can't seem to get it off the ground. I just, I don't feel motivated, what's going on? Ah, and I know when I was going through that phase, I felt like two things. I felt like, like uh, down on myself, and I also felt a little angry because I'm like, I should be able to do this. I should be motivated. Why can't I get myself off the couch? And I sat with that and was just like, I guess this is the way things are gonna be. And I had to eventually get myself out of that, right? But the point is, I went through what this woman is feeling. So if this were me in the conversation, and she came to me and said, hey, just what you know, I'm, I'm really feeling down about myself because you know, I just, I can't seem to complete things and you seem to do a good job of it, but I just, I just can't seem to get myself motivated and I always just think about that. My first response would be like, you know what? I totally get it. Like, you know, I know you're, you're looking at me now like, oh, you get all this stuff done, but honestly, babe, like, I wasn't always like this. You know, there was a time where I would be just at home sitting there all day, just like wanting to do stuff and had all these thoughts about things. But I was just thinking like, man, like how do I get this thing started? What resources do I get? Like, I just, I just don't know. And I just, I just really felt down about myself and a little sad because I saw other people that were like getting ahead of me. And I'm just like, they're getting ahead and I'm not doing what I need to do. Like, oh, like, so babe, I, I totally feel what you're going through. And I'm, and I'm sorry you feel that way. Cause you know, you are in fact great and you do a lot of stuff, but I, I understand where that feeling is coming from because man, it just, it sucks to be there, doesn't it? Now, in, in that moment in time, you've given no solution. All you've did is spoke, spoke to the feeling that she was having, that you went through it, that it was a journey for you also, and that you know that where she's at right now, it may feel like hopeless, and you understand that exact feeling. Now, that is an answer that I have a woman be like, oh, really? Like, you felt that too? Like, oh my God, like, I thought it was, I thought it was just me. I thought I was crazy, because I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I, I feel motivated at times, but I just, I don't know how to get things started, and this, is that. And then that's when you can go into, 
you know, babe, I went through the same thing and I, I feel that. And it's just like, you know, that feeling like it, you, you can get to a place where you're having a different feeling. Like right now, the feeling you're having is going to sit with you for a little bit. And I felt it too. And it's just like, oh, it's awful. And then, you know, I just start thinking like, you know, what things could I be doing on a day to day basis to get me out of that? So like, let me ask you, babe, like, like what things have you been thinking about? Now you're putting it on her to start helping you think of a solution for her that she's going to actually think of her by herself. Because all you're doing now is just asking leading questions that lead her into like, what are you feeling now? What do you feel could potentially work for you? What things do you see potentially working out for you? And how do you see yourself hypothetically getting to that goal? Man, babe. And then just imagine how do you think you're going to feel? How do you think you're going to feel when you finally get those things done? Oh man, that's going to feel like, blah. and actually going to start thinking about what it feels like to get to those things. And now that she's, now that you've helped her feel a different feeling about what it's going to feel like when she succeeds, now she's going to work towards doing things to get to that feeling that you helped her feel. So this is why guys, again, there, there's, there's a, a, a good, what I'm trying to say, there's a reason why it's good to know how to best talk to women and how women best feel things and how they take things in. Because once you know that language, then you can get to them by speaking to them at their level and knowing how to get to them in a way that's going to allow you to be more effective in your communication. And guess what, guys? I have a whole seven part audio series called uh, Seven Steps to Better Communication with Women that's inside the Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which again, it's $47 a month. You have access to like all the programs I've ever done, all the podcasts I've ever done, all the eBooks I've ever done in that program. But you get access to knowledge like this that allow you to get a leg up on the competition. So hopefully, guy, that helps you out in your situation. But yeah, that's how you get into talking to, to women better and getting to them in a more emotional situation, you know? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Yes, empathy is very much a beautiful thing. And hey, as a guy that's an introvert and as a guy that just, I'm very much like, um, indifferent to a lot of things, including when I'm dating, women will bring things to me that are like big deals. And I like, I like how Corey Wayne has said this. So I'm going to say it the way he said it. Our job as men is to take women's big problems and then shrink them down to where they're smaller. But you're only going to be good at that if you're a guy that's not anxious, that's not nervous, that is secure in who he is as a leader. And so that's why it behooves you to get into that space where you're able to be that guy because then women are going to trust they can come to you with their problems and situations and be emotional and know that you empathize with them while also being a person that has wise counsel. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.